Well, are you spending countless hours this summer trying to keep your plants, your lawn, and your trees alive? Well, there may be an easier way that can save you money and also help save the environment. CBS 2 meteorologist Don Schwenecker is here with a new way to conserve that's making a comeback. Right, Don? Yeah, it's not really that new. Now, every year we get just over 38 inches of liquid precipitation. That's rain and snow when it melts, and that totals over three feet of water. You can put that water to work at your home. Not only do rain barrels help the environment, they can help you save money too. We're going to put a wooden stand underneath this barrel. Okay. It's simple. <laughs> By attaching a rain barrel to any downspout at your house, and this just slides right under like this, you can catch rain and use it later. Easy as pie. But this concept isn't really new. Your grandmother might have oh, had yeah. one, yeah. and they just went out of focus as, as we became free with our water use. Jim Kleinwachter is with the Conservation Foundation in Naperville. A typical home can uh, generate as much as 200 gallons on a quarter inch rain. Using that rainwater on your gardener plants can reduce your water bill. Plus, rainwater is untreated, so it doesn't have chemicals in it like chlorine. Janine Kanegieser and members of her church are all buying barrels. It saves energy, it's better for the plants, and I also think um, it's m my way of protecting the resources for the next generation. It's those future generations that may have to deal with not only water shortages, but the long-term effects of pesticide runoff in creeks and streams. Eventually, those pollutants make their way to big bodies of water, like Lake Michigan. And using these barrels is a good way to start the whole conservation process. When we capture rainwater in a rain barrel, and then we water our gardens and flowers with it, it slowly percolates back into the ground, and then the water still gets to the stream, but it gets there underneath the ground in a more natural, filtered and metered fashion, as opposed to really fast on the surface where it picks up pollutants. Beginning conservation into your home is as easy as picking up one of these. Yeah, not that heavy, and it's really easy. These rain barrels cost about 85 bucks. They're actually reused pickle and olive barrels that would have ended up taking up space in a landfill. And if you think, I can't put one of those on my house, it's way too much work, you're wrong. As a matter of fact, we've added a how to install video on our website. Just go to CBS2Chicago.com and click on the video. We also have links there to find more information about where you can purchase rain barrels locally. Wow. Yeah. Oh, cool. What is the all, old olive? They're old olive and pickle barrels. Now they used to shred them or sometimes they just throw them into garbage areas full and they take up all that space. Instead of actually uh, sh knocking them down and recycling them, that uses energy. They just take the whole barrel, wash it out, and you use it at your house. So are you going to need a rain barrel in the next couple of days, you think? You will. Yeah, uh -huh. if you go get it tomorrow when it's dry, you'll get it filled <laughs> up in a go. couple of days. Yeah. Tea's coming up. You'll get it filled up in a couple of days. We're going to talk about the showers in just a moment.